Hi, this is session six of Apache Edge course for beginners. In this session, we will discuss and learn about how to customize policy response of Apache Edge. At this moment, if it is not clear, don't worry, we will see this in action. Let's log in into Apache Edge UI and click AP proxies. So if you could see AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been developing in our video session so far. So in this session also we will use the same AP proxy. So let's click AP proxy demo. All right now let's try to generate access token. And we have discussed on how to generate access token in our session three of this course so if you haven't watched it i have given the link below in the description so please watch it if you could see the response of our access token we have a lot of properties like ap product list ap product list json organization link organization name developer.email so we have a lot of properties so consider we don't want to provide these informations we want to provide only the required information something like token type issued add access token scope expiration refresh count so we want to expose only these properties from apg edge and we don't want to give other informations like api product list and api product list json those properties we don't want to expose it to the client application so how do we achieve it all right let's see how can we achieve it let's click develop tab and this is the endpoint which we are using to generate access token so go uh, to generate access token policy is the one which is generating access token for us so once this property executes and response of this property will stay in response.content so we'll have to read the response.content and we'll have to customize it so how can we customize it we can do this by using javascript policy so let's go ahead and add javascript policies here I'm going to click add and i'm going to add javascript policy so i'm going to name it as js hyphen customize oops yeah customize response and the display name and name i'm giving the same so script file we are going to create a new script so the new script option is selected in the drop down so the script name i'm going to give customize response you can give any meaningful name you want so after providing this just had it so this js customized response javascript policy uses this javascript file so we will have to write our code in this javascript file so whatever a code present in this file will get executed when this policy is invoked so let's go ahead and make the required changes so as we discussed once the policy is executed and its response will stay in response.content object so first we'll try to read the response from the policy so i'm going to read it so we are declaring a res variable and i am going to read it
database forms dot content so this will have all these values if you could see response dot content will have all these values so we don't want to expose all these value to the client app we want to expose only few details so how can we do that so i am going to form another json object here by naming minimize response this is going to be hand json so what are all the details we want we want token type so let's form token type so token type will be coming from this rest dot token and again we want issued at so let's take issued at and we want access token so let's form access token property as well so all this will come from a response object and we want scope so let's take scope property as well next we want expiration so let's take that property as well and we want refresh count as well so take refresh count property so we have formed our minimized json object so this one we will have to export expose it to the client application so how can we do that so if you could see the response is response.content so we'll have to assign this value to this object so let's go ahead and assign it so response dot content equals json dot stringify of or minimized or minimized response i'm going to assign it to this response dot content object and we'll have to call this javascript policy in the post flow of generating access token flow so we are generating access token in the auth proxy flow so this is the flow and this is the post flow in post flow response we have to call this javascript policy so as you know how to attach the javascript policy in the same way we are going to attach the javascript policy which we have created now so We'll have to provide the name here so our javascript policy name is this this is the name of our javascript policy let's come here and provide name with all these changes save our revision as a new one so that we will not lose our existing development activities so revision 5 has saved so let's go ahead and deploy revision 5 in test environment so revision 5 is saved and it is deployed now let's go ahead and generate access token again If you could see now we have the customized response we don't have other details like api product name or api application name json 
those details are not listed over here so this is how we can customize our policy response using javascript policy so that's it in this video i hope you like this video if so i would request you to please subscribe our channel and in our next video we will discuss about how to generate access token by using password client type thanks for watching and have a good day